used to meet and have yeah. dinner. In fact, I think we can start to see the building. Reading Mayor Bo Bemis' family built the neighborhood. I grew up surrounded by aunts, uncles. Around what many still call Dow Chemical. They did really well, but yeah, as you can see, there's still old drums. This 25-acre site has sat empty since 2014. Its closure, a big hit to the city. That was 120000 a year we lost in earnings tax revenue which is big for us. You know, we're not seeing Cincinnati. Now all that's left are buildings with broken windows, an old way station, and barrels. A reminder that this facility made common chemicals. The city's looking for manufacturing to come back. Have you had interest? Well, you, you know something, no, because again, it's, it was a tier one chemical facility. And so I think everybody knew from the get-go it was going to take, you know, remediation and demolition. Not almost five and a half million dollars in Ohio Development Department grant money to clean it up. The city of Reading wants to be ready. What's the dream? Yeah. You know, really though, jobs. Yeah. Good jobs for people and, and, and then you know the revenue we bring from it. And Just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Dow Chemical Co., Cincinnati plant manufactured industrial organic chemicals used to manufacture vinyl siding and windows, PVC pipe and fittings, plastic bottles, and blister packaging, also known as Rom and Haas Cincinnati facility. Prior to closing its doors in 2014, the site located at 2000 West Street in Reading was owned by multiple companies. The facility was originally developed in 1949 by Cincinnati Milling Machine as Carlisle Chemical Works. Carlisle Chemical Works operated the facility from 1949 to 1970. From 1970 to 1980, the site operated under the name Cincinnati Millicron. In 1980, Carstab, a division of Thiokol, purchased the site. In 1982, Morton and Thiokol merged. The facility operated as Morton Thiokol from 1982 to 1989. In 1989, Thiokol was sold and Morton International operated the site for 10 years until 1999. But in 1999, Ram & Haas purchased the building and operated it until the Dow Chemical Company acquired Ram & Haas in 2009. Dow officially closed the plant in 2014 as part of a company-wide restructuring. Each of the six companies which collectively occupied the facility over 75 years ago manufactured chemicals found in many items, including vinyl sidings, windows, downspouts, and plastic bottles. The 25-acre lot in Reading, Ohio, a Cincinnati suburb with a population of just over 10,000 residents, provides many of the needs and amenities which large, advanced manufacturing companies look for in a production facility. The industrial zone site may accommodate up to 350,000 square feet of advanced manufacturing and research and development space. A labor force of more than 700,000 within a 30 minute drive of the site with recruiting access to 17 local universities and vocational training schools. The site on West Street has been empty since the plant closed in 2014. The, the Economic Development Agency, known as the Port, partnered with Hamilton County, the Sewer District, and other groups to get funding to prepare the 25-acre site. Money was used for environmental studies and cleanup of the location to create proper sewer service and to build a road to access the property. The Port of Greater Cincinnati Development Authority, the Port, announced it has entered into an agreement with Naya Properties to develop the former Dow Chemical plant site in Reading, Ohio for future manufacturing tenants. The port acquired the 25-acre property in 2019 as part of its industrial revitalization strategy to repurpose existing land sites for new advanced manufacturing investment. In the development agreement with Nyer Properties, the port will initially retain ownership of the property and co-develop the site with Nyer in multiple phases. The first phase is expected to be completed by early 2023. 
We're very excited to see this project move into its next phase of development, said Robert Lowe Beams, mayor of Reading. Since the plant's closing to seven years ago, we have worked closely with the port, REDI Jobs Ohio, in Hamilton County to deliver a site-ready property for the right corporate end user. We are laser focused on bringing high paying jobs back to the city of Reading in Hamilton County, added Mayor Beams. Thank you.